Alright, hey guys, it's your buddy Baked Beans. So I'm going to give you a video tutorial on how to add all the characters you want in Shining Force 1, no matter where you are in the game. I heard, I saw some people complaining, oh, this character is good and all, but you get them still in the game, you don't have any time to play with them, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've come to fix that. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a Gens emulator. I'm pretty sure most of you have that. You're going to need your ROM that you need, and you're also going to need Hex Workshop or your favorite Hex Editor, whatever you want. I like Hex Workshop, it works well for me. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open our ROM. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speed through this a little bit. And just to show you guys, we're going to go ahead and make a new game. And name myself all capital A's. Because I can. Okay, so we're basically not even going to do really go anywhere you know, just to show you the fact that you can do this whenever you want we're gonna finish talking to various okay we're mm -hmm. gonna go to the equipment Menu. just to see who we have and, and it's only me here. okay so we're gonna go ahead and save this we're gonna go to save state as and let's call it uh, hex just for fun okay now we're gonna go ahead and open it up in hex workshop or your hex editor we go to file open and we're gonna find it here there it is, hex. Okay, now you want to go to offset C102. Four zeros, and then C102. Alright, you should notice it's two zeros. Then we're going to go ahead and change that to two capital Fs. And we're going to go to the next one, C103, two capital Fs. C104, two capital Fs. And C105, two capital Fs as well. So in red here are the are the uh, hex values that I've changed, and I've changed them all to capital F's. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm not going to make a backup. I don't really feel the need. I don't see that it does anything. All right, and we're going to go ahead and go to load state and load up hex. There it is. And let's go to the equipment menu again. Oh, well, what do you know? We have everybody now. Um, you get them in the same levels that you would in game, except left, a left, or whatever name is. I'm not sure what level you get her in the game, but she happens to be 15 here. Uh, and Tarasu 16, whatever. Okay, and you notice we'll have everybody, including this guy and Jogurt. I'm not sure what his name is, but you, you know, know what? I don't really care. But uh, he's kind of fun to play around with. And so, there, there you go. go. You want any character you want, you have it any time in the game. I don't even haven't even talked to the king yet, don't even have my original characters yet. But you know what? I have everybody. So... There you go, there's that, and now, like I promised, I'm going to show you how to change your name. Okay, so we're still at C102, and right over here at C10A, uh, you'll notice, well, there's my main character's name. I chose all A's. Oh, and there's also May, Pele, Ken, Bankar, Ernest, blah, 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 goes down through everybody. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change this to, I'm going to press Shift 6 for all these to make this little up arrow. It's kind of cool the effect that you get. We're going to go ahead and save. Uh, I'm not going to make a backup again. I don't feel a need. File. Load state. Hex. And okay. So here's our name. It's a bunch of little green circles with no background. See the background here is a bunch of tiles because, well, that's where the roof is. And we're going to go over here. And what do you know? You got a little bit of the door and some stained glass window. Well, that's kind of cool. And then we get the shadow from the roof, and again, a little bit of stained glass window. Well, there you go. That allows you to change uh, your name, your character's name, or anybody else's name, depending on whatever you want to be. And there you go, guys. Uh, there's your tutorial. Um, did all this myself. But I'm only going to credit myself, because oh, I did it all. And, um, um, well, you might notice, I'm not sure if this uh, recording software is going to get this, but I do have a custom cursor here. He's a little, uh, little yogurt cursor, or jogurt, whatever you want to call him. Let's see what his name is real quick. Just to be technical. Oh, jogurt cursor. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it might not pick up in here, but I, I do make my own custom cursors. I will make custom cursors for basically whatever you want. I've done it for all Shining Force characters. NPCs, uh, bosses, wherever you want. Um, there you go, guys. Uh, if you want a cursor, PM me. Uh, if not, oh well. And uh, take it easy, guys.